Mission Peak Entertainment in the building, aka Mr. Represent for one time the San Pete Entertainment in the building, aka Mr. Promoter. Waffle God. Nah, that's how I I done overcame some of the obstacles that came from up on the small rocks and shit. Even though I be out here scheming, like a demon seeming, I know I'm God sent. It's gotta be God. I'm God sent, like he sent me up so I can relay these messages Like he used me as a vessel, like he used me as an instrument Trying to lock me in a box, they hate how God to keep on blessing me They lock me in a box, I pray to God, this ain't my destiny I don't drink no lean, I'm sipping no holy water like this my medicine I'm living testimony, every album like a testament Everything I went through made me who I am, till so he be testing me So I'm breaking bread with all my film, cause I don't take no essence I done sacrificed my nigga, cause none of my niggas ain't see the best in me They want me slinging metal like the devil, but I'm heaven sent my brother, my mom, and Alex for my daddy cause he neglected me I'm 20 years old but I act like I've been here before like I'm a veteran He spit this shit through me like I'm a prophet but I'm a reverend Put my blood, sweat, and tears on all these lyrics cause this my exodus I'm dying so I can live so I can live, I resurrected it I'm dying so I can live so I can live, I resurrected it Ay, blood in my eyes, I'm going blind, oh Stuck in these streets, feel like my life froze I've been running these streets, got me dehydrated I've been living so crazy, feel like I'm dying, baby. Yeah, we about to get on with this interview, Look, man. Once again, people, like I said, we gonna do this six-minute interview. My boy Shy Glizzy is in the building. Like I said, it's a phone a live interview. We talking about success. We talking about how he's proud. We talking about yes, how sir, he's yes, family sir. proud. You understand what I'm saying? We talking about how he made his mom's proud, his grandmother proud, his kids proud. Nobody can't talk shit to that man. He got a ball That's in right. his hand, and it's nothing but money. Mm-hmm. Money. Hey, yo, people. Like I said, man, I got Shy Glizzy in the building. You know what I'm saying? What up, though? Shy Glizzy, what's up, man? Talk to the people, man. What's up, man? Yo, man. It's your, it's your boy, Shy, man. Shout out, man. Stanford, Connecticut, man. Shout out to my side, man. Shout out everybody, man. My people, my mom. You know J Mo in the building, friend. too, Shy. Don't forget J Mo. Shout out. Shout out Jay Mo, shout out Umpty Man. Everybody know, man. Shout out my college, man. Shout out the Truco, man. We here. What's up? Real talk. Hey yo, Shy, man. Let's 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 just talk about how you came up to where you at right now. Can we do that real quick? Can we talk about Definitely. how how Shy did what he did and who Mr. Shy is? Can we can we talk to the people about that? Cause you on live right now. You on the radio. You on iHeart Radio. You on Spotify. You on iTunes. And, 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 and you on YouTube. You on real, everything. We keeping it real for sure. Let them know how um, we went to the city. All that. It's all different. Kind man, of listen, people. man. First of all, I'm not no different than nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I come. I was getting in trouble, man. You get what I'm saying? Like, have my head on wrong and. I, I knew right from wrong, but I was just, I, was, I just kept fucking up, man, and ended up making bad decisions that landed me in jail, you know what I'm saying? And the way society set up, man, that's, that, that, that's a typical story that you hear every day, you know what I'm saying? But when I was down, and, uh, I had time to really master myself and, 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 and really do some self-thinking and, and, and equip myself with accessible tools that to be successful but when I did get an opportunity to come home. So I mean every day, every day, man, every day, man. Like I'm talking about and I and I was in Texas. Don't, don't let me get this wrong. I was in big Texas, you know what I'm saying? Not no juvenile this not NYI. I was in prison, you know what I'm saying, with lifers. And I just paid attention and I and I realized like yo, this shit not me, man. This shit this this not what I want in life. I'm better than this. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? I, I I got to realize who really was there for me. You know what I'm saying? And I start realizing, like, damn, I wasn't valuing myself. I wasn't valuing my family. I wasn't valuing my kids. None of that. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I thought about every day. You know what I'm saying? And my uh, my, my my shorty, she made sure I was straight. Like, you know what I'm saying? She helped me definitely. If it wasn't for her, I would not be where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout her out. You know what time it is, Shy. She doing her thing too, Shy. Real talk, man. Like, on some real <laughs> shit. I want y'all to be successful together, man. On some real shit. Y'all really, like, she doing her thing. You doing your thing. I'm watching both of y'all because y'all both doing successful things. You understand what I'm saying? And I like that. Because right now, Shy, on some real, like, yo, you've grown. I've watched you. You've done what you did. You know what I'm saying? You've been in the streets. You know what I mean? People don't understand. Shy is a whole different person. A whole different person. Definitely, he, you know. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Shy is that man that, yo, go to him, talk to him. Yo, but he got that ball in his hand. Real talk. He got that ball in his hand, people. And when y'all see me share his shit on, the, on my page, respect that. When I see his moms put it up there, respect that. Because, yo, my boy doing the damn thing. It's a CT thing. Hey, yo, Shy, on some real shit, I love the shots that they be getting to you, man. You like Jordan, nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, they be having some wild shots of you, man. Like, real talk. Hey, yo, J-Mo, big up yourself, man. Hey, yo, Shy, J-Mo said what up, man. I don't, know if, I, I don't know if you're still on live or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying, J-Mo was on right now. Shy, I want you to talk to J-Mo real talk because... J-Mo is a good brother, man, even though he also been in trouble. But that boy J-Mo is a good man. I've known him growing up. I've known him, period. Like, real talk. Definitely. And he's a real West Side nigga. And I'm going to keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? So, J-Mo, big up yourself one time, man. You on my live, man. You know, I keep it a hundred, man. I fucks with Shy, man. Shy's a good dude. But, yo, people, I just want y'all to know, man, Shy, you know, he went through his little phase. He was doing rapping and all that shit. We went to the city one time. Shy, tell him, man, yo, we had some fun, yo. We was with the people. Yeah, we definitely, listen, <laughs> that, little, that little rapping phase, we definitely was turning up the city. We was turning up everywhere. We go, we, we went to the city, Chinatown, had a little performance, and we got there a little late, so it was kind of dry, but we turned that shit up. We had the, the bartenders, everybody bumping to my music, you know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. <laughs> like, real talk. Hey, yo, Shy, do me a favor, man. Talk to me about what's success. Up? Success, what, man. Listen. What does what does success mean to Shy? Tell me. Success means to me, but it's like anything in life, yo, I realize anything in life you can have, man. You just got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Talk. And it's talk like, talk. Ooh, dude, think about the energy it takes. For you to uh, stay alive and breathe. Say if you walked in the middle of an ocean and you just went underwater. How hard would you work to keep breathing and stay alive? That's how hard you got to work to achieve anything in life. That's how I see success. Success is gangster, man. Everybody wants to, when everybody wants to be gangster, I want to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Generational wealth. That's all I care about. My sons. You know what I'm saying? I heard you. People, I've been with this family for a long time. I even did shy baby shower and we turned that shit upside down <laughs> upside down like real talk you know what I'm saying I want to shout out Mama Key in the building I want to shout out Tanea you know Auntie Donna I, I know my mom man. I know my talk. auntie man. Like, I know my cousin Josh okay listen I can shout out so many people man people you know what I'm saying yo shy it's your time though I'm not shutting you off it's your time do what you want to do shy listen, talk to the people listen it's definitely people who gave up on me, and and I'm not mad at y'all. Listen, I want to say thank you. Y'all, y'all, y'all fucking created a monster. When y'all see me, y'all look at it. Listen, I'm telling you, man, I got some shit coming, and and it's bigger than me. I don't want nobody to ever uh, to, to think that I'm on some cocky. That nah, it's bigger than me. You get what I'm saying? It's bigger than my family. It's about these the other young dudes coming up, or even people older than me. Trying to motivate the world, you know what I'm saying? Trying to show people that prison reform, all that shit, man, that like everybody is worthy of a second chance. You just gotta want it, you feel me? Correct, you know correct. I was I came home from jail and was working on Wall Street within a week. You get what I'm saying? Wall Street, like no bullshit. I'm on Hold up, man, stop I'm right the there, stop on. right there, stop right there, Shy, because you know what? I got that info. Even though I didn't see you until you came home, but I got that info. You was on Wall Street. Your mom's told me she was so. Yo, Shy, when I mean she was happy, she was proud. Like, your yeah, mom was talking about it. Can you please tell the people how this Wall Street thing came along? Please. Man, basically, man, when I was locked, I got involved in this program or whatever. And um, 
it was the first of its kind. It was basically the ages 18 through 25, and they wanted to try to rehabilitate us and, and, and stop recidivism. And basically, long story short, man, I was the only one to take it serious. You know what I'm saying? And when I came home, the people that funded the program, they offered me a job. So I'm like, oh, you want to work on Wall Street? So I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Wall Street? <laughs> I, look at, I look at the phone like, you sound like, what? Like, <laughs> long story short, man, I, I walked in that shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I called my cousin up, he got me a suit, got me right. I seen that I suit too, it was gray, wasn't it? Wasn't it gray? Stanford to Manhattan. Was it, what, was it your suit gray? Gray suit, baby, yes exactly. sir. Yeah. I seen it. <laughs> <laughs> my boy was looking <laughs> sharp too, what? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> could <laughs> tell him <laughs> nothing. My boy you said, I'm on Wall Street, day. what's up? When I was telling... Hey yo, I'm walking through I'm walking through uh Grand Central and shit. The the lady stopped me, she said, She said, Who do you work for, sir? <laughs> I said, Shit. I work on Wall Street. I just came home from death. He didn't even believe me, yo, real shit, yo, real shit. Yo, Sha, you real grown, shit. man. You you you've really grown and like yo, you have your family proud of you, man. How does that make you yeah. feel that you know that your moms don't gotta look over her shoulder no more? Your moms ain't gotta you know what I'm saying? Cry or, you know what I mean? Look for a phone call, a 15-minute phone call. A 15-minute shot. I've been locked up four times. Shout out Sweet Dinks in the building. I see you, baby. We doing a live interview right now with Mr. Shy Glizzy. You already know we talking about success. But Shy, I've been locked up four times, B. I did a three-year bid. I did a year bid, six months. I did a five-month. But, yo, talk to the people, man. Let them know, tell them, please, how your moms is very, very proud of you. Because when I talk to her, Shy, and I'm being real because I'm on live, but when I talk to Miss Tanea Dix or Miss Lakia Gordon, as their name is, Mama Kia or Tanea or Nay, yo, Shy, they talk about you, Shy. They love you. Like, real talk. They love you. But... Man. Before you before you say something, Shy, I'm gonna be honest with you. You got a brother and a sister that look up to you, and they love you with all they heart, all they heart. And that's Mr. Nasir and Miss Serenity, and I love them because they're always at my house, always having fun, always going crazy, and that's your blood, Shy. How do you how do you see your sister and brother? How do you look at them and say, "Listen, your brother's doing this, your brother's doing that. I'm gonna be away for a little bit." Uh, how do you feel about that? Basically, man, listen. I, I just want to talk with my other brother, real quick, Diddy. Go ahead. Like, go ahead. Yo, when I was gone, he he. Yo, I love man, you too, like, Diddy. I love you too, Diddy. Hold your head, baby boy. Go ahead, Sean. I'm sorry. Anybody that talked to me when I was gone, and anybody that know me. Know how I feel about my brother. That's I, my mom would tell you. I don't even. I ain't, I used to get mad at her for beating him when we was younger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like when he went away, man. I felt like it was my fault because I I, I should have paved a better way. I cried, I cried, but I but I also like you know fuck it. I can't cry because he he need me. You know what I'm saying? He need me to be successful. He need me to show him the way of how you supposed to how you how you can make a 180 and and. and and change everything and make it out the hood or make it out people setting barriers on you. So it started with Diddy. That's all I want to say. I love you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Keep your head up, bro. Real talk. Um, yo, shout out Diddy one time, people, man. I apologize. Real talk, I man. Free Diddy, man. Free Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I apologize because because that's my man. So every time I see him, I give him dab, talk shit to me, talk shit to me. He beat my kids up. My kids be here, bro. <laughs> you know? We call him Uncle Diddy. You know boy, what I'm saying? Diddy. My boy Diddy a wild boy. You know, he be on the games and shit. You know what I mean? He on Fortnite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My boy be all over. He, he do a lot of things, man. Hey, yo, Diddy, real talk. <laughs> I know you're not here right now with us, but yo, your brother doing a damn thing, B. And when you come home, yo, we going to embrace He's you. He's straight. Baby. He don't got to worry about nothing. He's you feel straight. me? Like, yo, your brother is talking real facts. Your brother is doing real things. Your brother is being shot. Yo, your brother like Jordan. Mm. I'm looking at it like that. <laughs> real talk, Shy. I ain't going to lie to you, nigga. I like, I feel hey, like, yo. yo. Real talk, you I wanna, like Jordan, I wanna, nigga? I want to I make this shit clear, though. You know what I'm saying? Because... Hey, yo, hold up, shy. Hold